Good morning, guys. Welcome to history class today. I hope you guys had fun learning about ancient Egypt on Friday and that you guys are learning a lot. It's one of the most important civilizations that we learn because of how long they were powerful and for all the things that they did. Especially everybody is still amazed on how they built the pyramids, right? How did they get all those big heavy ladrillos, those big heavy bricks to go one on top of the other? How did they get the ones all the way up on the top, right? It's still a little bit of a mystery. So today you need um, your paper that looks like this because today's not the day that we talk about the pyramids, even though I'm super excited about that project. Today's the day we're going to talk about the Nile River. So you need this piece of paper and you need this string that I hope you still have that I gave you with your packet, okay? We know as children of God that everything that comes from God's creation is a gift from God, right? So Today is a beautiful rainy day, and we know that the rain comes from God because he has a purpose for it, right? So even though we might be like, well, I like the rain, Michelle, but I don't like to do homework in the rain. It's true. No one likes to do homework in the rain, but we got this, okay? But it's a gift from God. There was a reason why God said we needed rain today, right? Well, the Egyptians believed that the Nile River, the Rio Nilo, that goes through Egypt, and you're gonna see a map of it very, very soon. The one that goes down, it's one of the longest rivers in the world. Okay, some consider it the longest river in the world, but sometimes it depends on um, the, the time of the year because uh, the Amazon can also be very, very long too. But they believe that the gods, because of the Egyptians worshiped un montón de gods, okay, un montón. They did not believe in the real God, and that's why the Bible says eventually God was going to take away the power of the Egyptians, and he did. Today, Egypt still exists, but it's not a powerful country at all, okay? It's still there, but nobody knows it like a powerful country like before, okay? But they believe that their gods were giving gifts to them, giving regalos to them with the Nile River, and it's true, there were so many great things about the Nile River that you're going to learn in a super cool video today. And then you're going to see it in your activity, okay? So it is very true that the, re the Nile River had many gifts for the people, many regalos for the people, because it helped the people become the nation and the civilization that they were. But where does that come from? Does that come from their gods or does it come from God, Jehovah God in heaven? It comes from the real God, okay? But they never knew that. But it's very important to learn about this river because it is such a helpful, helpful river to the ancient Egyptians, okay? So here's a quick video that you can see about it, and then I'm gonna teach you your activity. It's another sunny, beautiful day in ancient Egypt during the illustrious reign of Pharaoh Ramses II. At the bustling dock in Thebes, a boy named Atet is preparing for a great adventure. Wow, I thought today would never come. My brothers and I are heading down the Nile with our dad. My very first trip. Since I'm missing scribe school, teacher says I need to write everything down and give a report when I get back. So mom and dad gave me my very own med head, a set of writing tools for the trip. It's got reed brushes, a palette, and ink. We always use red and black ink in Egypt. I'm not sure why, but it reminds me of our red and black lands. Most of Egypt is like this, hot and dry. It's pretty easy to see why we call it Deshre, the red land. But some of Egypt is like this. It looks green on the top, but underneath is very rich black dirt. We call this land Kemet, the black land. It's where we grow all of our crops. If you flew like a bird, you'd see that the Kemet is all along the banks of the Nile River. Dad says that's why Egypt is called the gift of the Nile. <laughs> Sounds strange, I know. But let me explain. Egypt is mostly desert, right? But look, here. 
flowing through the whole length of the country is the Nile River. It starts in the lands far to the south and travels nearly 4,000 miles to the sea up north. Everything in Egypt happens along the Nile. For one thing, it's like our main road, the very best way for anyone to travel around the country. But even more important than how the Nile carries us is what it brings us. Every year, heavy rains far to the south wash a lot of silt, or weathered rock particles, into the river. Dad says the silt combines with leaves and branches to form a rich mix full of iron, zinc, and other things, kind of like vitamins for the soil. We call this good stuff hoppy. So, every summer, all this water and hoppy flow down the Nile into Egypt, flooding the land for four months. When the floodwaters recede, they leave the hoppy behind. It makes the dirt really good for planting. A very long time ago, my ancestors started living along the Nile and planting crops. Then, they had some very smart ideas. First, they dug ditches and canals to trap in the flood water. Then, during the dry season, they would open the canals and let water flow into the fields. Sometimes the fields were higher than the canals, and it was really hard to carry enough water by hand. So, they invented the shadu, a long pole with a bucket at one end and a weight at the other. It makes lifting heavy water a lot easier. Delivering water to crops is called irrigation. We are some of the first people to figure out how to do that. Pretty clever, huh? Wasn't that a cool video? It was crazy, all the things that the Nile River helped the people with. Remember that for a civilization to be successful, they needed water. They needed that great source, the fuente of the river to give them the things that they needed. And did you see? A lot of times we think inundaciones are bad things, right? But just like the Mesopotamians and the Egyptians learned that with all the flooding, all the inundaciones from the river, it left great, great alimentos for the tierra. So then after all of the inundaciones cada año that they believe were gifts from God, from their gods, but we know it's gifts from our God, the real God, right? That um, they would, it would leave behind all these great alimentos for the tierra. So today, what are you gonna do for your activity? You're gonna cut out your activity like this. You need the map of the Nile River, I see. You need to cut out the information card of the Nile River. You need to cut out your cocodrilo, your crocodile. And you need to have your strip. Okay? Look what it says about the Nile River. The Nile River gave many gifts. They actually worshipped the river. Okay? Now, we don't do that. We worship God for his creation. There was water for drinking and bathing, so it gave them water to drink and to bañarse. There were crocodiles and hippos to hunt. Okay, so they like ate these things. What? I would be scared to hunt a, a crocodile. Don't tell me not. There were ducks and birds and fish to eat. Okay, so it gave them plenty of food. And the land near the river had rich black soil, so it helped their crops, their plants grow all the time. The soil was good for growing crops. Reeds drew, grew near the water, so there was these great stems, okay, these great reeds, which basically is like a big plant, but it's like hard, almost like madera. No super, super como madera, it's bien flexible, but it's casi madera with these reeds. And that's where they made the paper, remember? And also, look what other things they made from the reeds. Papyrus, it says papyrus was a reed used to make paper, so they invented that paper, you guys. And the Egyptians used reeds to make boats. They actually made their boats out of it. And then they could travel up and down the river with those boats. Okay, crazy, huh? Okay, cool. Okay, the project today is super, super easy. Because I just want you to learn about the cool things about the Nile River. You've got your papyrus where they made paper. They made boats. Remember the Mesopotamians made sailboats, right? These guys made reed boats. 
They got hippos to hunt, fish to eat, birds to eat, more birds to eat, okay? And their rich black soil. So many things came from the Nile River and the water to drink and the water to Baniarse, right? So look, he's gonna be like our tour guide today. Look what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut a hole, basically wherever you want you guys, but you just fold it like this and boop, cut a hole, okay? Just a little hole, I see, see? I see like that, okay? Now you're gonna do the same thing in this piece of paper. Make sure you color, make sure you paint that, okay? You're gonna do the same thing with this one. You cut it, just boop, I see, okay? And you have a hole here and you have at the bottom, okay? You want the hole at the bottom and you want the hole on the top of your Coco Zillo. Okay, you're gonna take this piece of paper, you're gonna fold it in half, okay? Fold it in half. Fold it, that's dope lad. And then you wanna glue this one on front, like a, a portada, okay? To tell you about the Nile River, cause it's gonna help you make your video one day. So even though there's some space right here, that's okay. Because watch what happens. After you make your little portal, your little title page, look what happens. Shoo! Opens up and it shows you the Nile River. Then you're going to tie your string. Be careful on this one, okay? Don't like be doodle with it. You're going to rip the paper. So don't, don't, no hulks today, the port fell water. Don't use your muscles on the poor crocodile because he's not real. This guy's fragile. I'm gonna put it through and you're gonna tie it here. Okay, gentle. Remember it's fragile. I'm gonna do it two times so it doesn't fall off. Okay, there you go. And then do the same thing at the bottom of the paper. If your, um, if your piece of string doesn't go through, super easy. Just cut it one more time, cut a little bit more of a hole. I see. And then what do you have? This is your tour guide. Oh, look. This guy is showing us that there's papyrus. This guy is showing us that, um, what's papyrus? Paper. This guy is showing us that there's a, a boat that they made from the reeds. Hippos to eat, fish to eat, birds to eat, and everything to go into the Nile River, okay, which comes out in the Mediterranean Sea. And that's it, okay? Super, super cool. In order to use for a video one day. Have a great day. Make sure you color it. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.